You know it's really good for cold days. T. Hello, everybody. So, today, I totally forgot to make the video yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yes, it was yesterday. Um, about the social experiment outcome, and I can't get comfy in my chair, apparently. Um, so, yeah, so, let's talk about that, shall we? So, uh, all in all, the experiment went super well. So, it turns out there was five of us in the whole entire group. We had four girls and one dude. Um, so we had a little bit of fun with that. And I was actually the first out of all my friends to go. So, what I did was I went into a store with lettuce stuck up in my tooth. <laughs> um, if I can, I will insert a clip here. Ew, does it look good? Yeah, it looks good. I feel we're all a little bit closer now that you've gotten to see me with lettuce stuck in my tooth. If you don't think so, then apparently I'm wrong. But, yes, so I was the first one to go, and we did uh, lettuce stuck in the teeth with me and the boy, Ryan. We had two Ryans in our group. But the boy Ryan and me did lettuce stuck in our teeth, and then my friends Katie and the other Ryan uh, did lipstick on their teeth. So that was very fun. And then Olivia, my other friend, what did Olivia do? I believe Olivia also did lipstick on her teeth as well. I didn't go into the store with her though, so we did it kind of, we did it in a strategic manner. We filmed it where there was one person with the problem and then the other part there was another person with them in the store and they walked in together and this per person was filming this person and the store associate. We watched or we taped the store associate to see their reactions to our problem. So my store associate was really awesome. She was super nice and she didn't say a word about it nothing no facial expression no words to me about there being something stuck in my teeth absolutely nothing and she was the nicest girl in the world and i actually ended up buying pants from her so then i went in with my friend ryan the girl ryan and we went into a makeup store because she had lipstick on her tooth and there was actually three three store associates that helped her and Two out of the three did facial expressions and stuff to try and alert her that there was stuff on her teeth. So one of the clerks kind of did like a, like this, like when you used to try and like lick it off or something like that. But no one directly told her to do that, to try and get it off her tooth either. Okay, so my friend Olivia went in with the boy, Ryan. They went to Sears. And they caught the, one of the store associates started laughing when they saw him, but they didn't say anything to him either. And then nobody said anything to Olivia either. And I was like, I, it wasn't out of the ordinary. I was definitely expecting nobody to tell us anything because that is just the way it is. Strangers interacting with strangers probably don't have... The courage, or I don't know what to call it because it's probably not courage. I don't know. They just don't have, like, it's not being mean or anything. It's just you don't want to do that. You don't want to embarrass the person or something. So that's what we got out of the experiment. It was so much fun to do, and I'm glad I got to do it with a group of friends who was willing to do this kind of thing out in public. And it was, it was a great experience, and if anybody lives in my area and saw us, then I'm very sorry that you had to see us like that, but it was definitely worth doing, and I'm glad I went and did it with them. So I just wanted to make this video quickly because I said I was going to definitely show you or make a video about the aftermath, which is what this is. So 
thank you for watching, and I encourage you to go and try it on your own. See if you get your own reactions out of people, or if you get told that there is something in your teeth.